Welcome back to Market Pros, and here we have Bitcoin on the one hour. Uh, so, <clears throat> as you see, we kind of been uh, diverging and converging on the top of this range, you know, taking out people's stops, fake breakout trading, um, getting people caught in. As you see, there has been declining volume this whole time, which, uh, you know, and your BBWP, which is a volatility measurement, is printing very low reads, dark blue bars to be exact. Moving average even has a negative slope. We are below the 10 percentile, which when you get out of the 10 percentile and you cross your moving average to the upside, that usually means that the move is going to happen. Um, let's go over the chart layout real quick, just so you can see what I'm seeing. So we do have your moving averages here, yellow being your 21, red being your 50 blue being your 100 and purple being your 200. Next, we have your VPVR here to your right, which measures horizontal volume at a certain price level. Uh, as your volume is vertical, this volume is horizontal. Next, we have your momentum oscillators, one being your RSI, next being your MACD. And that's basically the chart layout. I mean, you got your bottom volume here, uh, which most of you probably already know. So you're being held up basically by the 50 right now. You've been being held up by the 50. Um, but I mean, you still haven't done anything. We, have, we don't really have a trade set up right now. Um, as you're just kind of getting chopped around at the top of this range. Um, your VPVR, you do have a point of support under us. Basically right where the 50 is and our wick lows. Um, we're going to go over the bullish and bearish case here in a second. Let's see, your RSI, neutral median zone. I mean, your momentum is pretty neutral right now. As, as you see, your MACD is even reset, riding at zero line. Your true trend is going to be decided very soon. Right now, the market is neutral. Now, the bullish case for Bitcoin is that you break this last high at 17200 I would expect you to come up to 17250 at that point. Then, if you can break 17,250, 17,400 is in the cards. That would be the next stop. If you break that, next is 18K. Pretty clear cut and short update today. Um, we're going to go over the bearish case and then we're going to move on because not too much has happened since our last video. So, I'm not going to waste your time, but we are going to go over what the move could potentially, ha uh, could potentially be. By the way, if you guys are liking this video so far, like and subscribe to the channel. Check out the links in the description below. One being the Discord. A lot of good conversation about trading, investing, crypto, markets as a whole. We stay ahead of this market as a, as a team, collectively. We talk about these moves before they happen. Um, and also, we have a macro panel tonight. It will be recorded. So that will be released on the Table Talk podcast. So stay tuned for that. We also have an event happening tonight at 7 p.m. EST. So definitely join in on that. That will be live. You can join it. You can ask questions. Um, so it's going to be a good time. It will be on coins we are holding in the bear market, our bear market strategies, and current events. So definitely join. Uh, so... Like I said, your BBWP is very low. Whenever it turns around, gets above its moving average and the 10 percentile, that's when to pay attention to the market because that's when the move is going to happen. Okay, let's move on to order blocks because we're going to talk about this bearish case and I want you to see the confluence here. So the top of this bullish demand zone is at 1740. So basically 17K is right in the middle of this thing. All right, now where's 17K? Right where your, basically that 1740 is right at the 200. Um, so 17K is like right below it right now. Um, and also that aligns with the 786, which is 1715, okay? So I, could expect us to come down to that level if we break this last wick at 17125 
on a one hour closure. <clears throat> so that's basically the trend of the downside. Uh, you know, if you do break this wick, I would expect you to come down here and fill this level and then continue on to the upside. Now, if we break this level, if we break that level, we're also probably going to break this trend line. And I would expect this to come all the way back down to 15,500 at the bottom of the range. So we got, you know, three different scenarios here. We break out from here. We come down, test the 786 and all these, uh, in these two moving averages and then resume up or we just break down. Okay. Let's move on to Ethereum. Ethereum still in our red box. 100 looks like it's going to try to cross the 200. Um, we could still come down to there and the POC point of control on the VPVR, which would be a high level of support. So like I said, we could still come down there and still be uh, in good shape. RSI, neutral median zone, MACD, reset across that zero line, BBWP printing very low reads. Looks like you could be losing your downside curvature here. So like I said, if this thing curls around and crosses that 10 percentile and it's moving average, that's when the move's going to happen. Okay. Uh, bullish case is that you break this last high, these last highs at 1278. All right. I would expect you to come back up to the top of this BART at 1288. If you can break that, I would expect you to come all the way up to 1325 at the top of this red box. Okay. Uh, and breakage to the downside would be the 100 and 200. 1262 on a one hour closure. Actually, 1259 on a one hour closure. This last low, but would, would also be breaking the 200 and the 100. I would expect you to come all the way down to the red box. If you break the red box, that means Bitcoin's breaking down. You're probably going to see 1080, if not even $1,000. Okay. That's really about it for Ethereum. Let's move on to Solana. Solana pretty much going sideways right here has been for a while. RSI trying to get up to that bear, uh, bullish control zone right now. You are trying to get a bounce here like we were talking about. Uh, looks like your moving averages could be trying to converge against each other. Now be careful with these multi moving average crossovers at this uh, level right now. Because we are basically going sideways. All right. Those don't work in a range. So you have crossed your uh, zero line to the upside. Positive momentum is pretty stable right now, uh, so it's not much to really speak about. This could just uh, be a reset of the indicators. BBWP is printing a very low read, but looks like you could be trying to cross your moving average. So if we can get out of that 10 percentile, that's when the big move is going to happen. All right. Um, bearish case is that you break this last low, 1357. I would expect you to come down to 1334. If you break 1334, $11, here we come. Bullish case, you got to get all the way back above 1388. I would expect you to come all the way up to 1430 and then we come back to it. All right, so like I said, pretty short update today. If you guys like this video, like and subscribe to the channel. Show some support in a bear market. It is so hard to put... Uh, to build a channel in a bear market. I'm built, I'm taking these videos every single day to you guys working hard. Uh, just like the video, subscribe to the channel. Leave me a comment down below. Tell me how I'm doing. Tell me how I can improve. Turn on those bell notifications. so You get notified with this time sensitive content. I wish everyone well, everyone have a great morning, great afternoon, great evening, and I will see you tomorrow.